What's up YouTube? I am down at the beach. I rode my M093 Swedish bicycle down here and uh, just wanted to show you. Um, I'm really liking this very simple Swedish 25 liter patrol pack. That's what it's, I'm calling that now. Um, anyway, um, it's like the perfect size to go inside of this uh, porter rack or porteur, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But um, <clears throat> I've got it um, fastened on here with the straps from the bike. And it's just about the perfect size. So I may use this a little bit more. Um, I did have a Swiss M, was it, M90. Um, which I put in there, but it was a little bit wide for there. I, I could make it fit, but it didn't fit um, flush on there. This thing works, uh, sits flush on there. I don't know. Seems like a great size to put on there. Obviously, um, I can adjust these straps to accommodate something um, bigger. But if you look at that rack, it's just not that wide. Um... I don't even remember if I ever showed you guys that this uh, the Swiss I forget the name of it, but anyway, it's just a it's just a double um, kickstand, um, which will you, know, you just kick that thing up, and then it. Uh, but it's nice because you can pretty much park that anywhere with that on there. Um, Let's take a look out here. Kind of a nice area. I'm at Seahurst Park. It's in the city of Burien in Washington, the state of Washington, in the United States of America. And this is like a science center or something for. Uh, they do. They do. Uh, well, when schools were open, they'd bring the kids down here and they could learn some stuff about oceanography and stuff like that. Over there is their ranger's um, house. Can't see it too easily, but uh, that'd be cool. Shit, if I was a ranger, it'd be a nice place to uh, sit at, right? Um, what else is going on? We I've got uh, some... I've got a a knife, or I don't know if you call it a knife. Um, I can't even say that. I can't even pronounce the name. But is it was it a Faskin knife? Um, yeah. See, I don't speak Swedish. But anyway, it's a Fascine knife. It's a overall length of nearly two feet, or I think it's like twenty three and a half inches total length. But uh, it's from the Swedish army, obviously. And uh, I bought it on eBay. I've been trying to bid on, a f on like three other knives and I did not win them on a Swedish uh, auction site. Um, well, two different ones. One of them is what auction net dot com and one I forget the other one but as it was another Swedish auction site and uh you know I just wasn't gonna fork out more than three hundred dollars for two of them in dubious condition. Uh the one I bought on eBay um they claim that it's brand new and not used um when I was looking at the pictures, it does not look like it. I mean, I don't know. I need to actually see it in person. I bought it anyway um, because, you know, at least somebody did some restoration on the leather and the blade. If, in fact, it is not, you know, like uh, all original. I mean, it's all the original parts are there. But my hunch is that they sanded off or and polished off 
you know, one that was barely used. I mean, to me, it, from the pictures, it looks like there was no wear and tear, you know, on the, the blade, which is important. Uh, but I didn't see all of the stamps and marking that you see on quite a few of those, although I've seen pictures on auction sites where they don't have all the the stamps on there either so it could be genuinely uh, like almost brand new unused but uh, I'll show you that when I get it I, I don't know with the way the post office is I've been selling stuff on eBay and it's not tracking things that I have uh, dropped to the post office even directly having them scan it it's just ridiculous um, you know I've got customers ask me hey where's my stuff and I'm like they probably didn't scan it and uh, you know it's all shown up um, I did have a problem with a guy from Russia it says it's not there I might have to fork out a refund but it's not covered for his country on a uh, a knife but anyway um, I will update you with let's just go with uh, knives the knives that I have once I get that um, large knife or whatever you want to call it but it's kind of like an engineer's knife it's just a ginormous one and it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool uh, I decided to get one after reading another post from Sea Legs on, was it Bushcraft USA or Bushcraft UK? I don't remember. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about it. Have a good one.